that? That thing sounds like a Nerf gun. Oh yeah, it's great, man. It's a P365. Yeah, 380. Yeah, in 380. Uh, you know what? Dude, yeah, shot placement is what I'm practicing. I, you I have a Prius too. It's got a nine millimeter over here, the boss right here. That's, that's great. This hits way harder. It might hit a lot harder, but at least my shots are right where I want them to be because 380 is a little bit easier to control, a little bit lighter in the recoil, feels a whole lot better. I think you're just trying to compensate there Accuracy or something with that nine mil. Let's talk about conceal carry nine mil versus 380 and why the nine mil is probably superior. Welcome back everybody, Clint here today with Classic Firearms out here at Take Game Training and Range with Kaya. What's up guys? And we've got kind of a fun little video today because when we think about conceal carry, nine millimeter 380, that's what today's topic is gonna be. Are there advantages? Are there really to one over the other? You know, I mean, 380. I, that's how I feel. Yeah, I, I'm like, that's how I feel. You know, just, it's like, it's like nine millimeter wannabe. <laughs> Yeah, it's like the less testosterone version of nine millimeter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whoops, those are. Well, I mean, the rounds are so small they can't even stay in place. You know what I mean? But all right, so take a look, right? Nine millimeter, three eighty. You'll see that they're very similar, yeah. actually, um, but also kind of not. You'll notice the three eighty is pretty much just a neck down version of the nine millimeter. It's just a little bit more compact, right? Uh, so you would think because of that you would typically get a little bit more of a capacity um, Most of the time though, that's not the case Usually it's just like what we have with the SIG 365 10 rounds here 10 rounds here yeah. So you don't really get much more as far as capacity goes now some guns it might be a little bit more Advantageous for the 380 uh, depends on their magazine style and everything you might get a couple more rounds But honestly, they're again very similar diameter and everything so it's like you're not really yeah, it's just an underpowered nine millimeter, yeah. let's just say. It, it just, I mean, it, it'll definitely, it should theoretically shoot, shoot softer than nine millimeter. Yeah, and uh, so, you know, that's one, I think, really big advantage to 380 over nine mil, and you guys are gonna have to let us know if you think down in the comment section. Here we have two Sig P365s, uh, arguably one of the best concealed carry pistols in the market right now. And this one uh, just has a couple of different upgraded features. For instance, it's red dot cut. Uh, and also has night sights. This is the 380 model. One thing I've noticed is if I want to, and also these both have manual safeties, uh, the resistance on the slide. Yeah. Because you're not firing as much of a powerful round, mm -hmm. right? Now granted, nine mil is not all that powerful or anything, but I'm just yeah. saying in this case, it's obviously superior to 380 in that sense. But uh, it has a little bit less resistance on the slide. Uh, compare that to the nine mil, it's a little bit tighter. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, will you guys sense. notice that? To some people, yes, and that's why 380 is where it's at, right? Yep. I mean, even Smith & Wesson has the entire EZ line of pistols because it makes sense for elderly, uh, maybe yep. younger people wanting to get involved with it that don't have, you know, good hand strength. Uh, they might have a disability and they need that ease. Yep. Easy uh, to be that easy rack slide to be able to go ahead and actually make the gun work, right? Chamber yep. that round. Okay, and that and in that sense, you know, of course, that that makes sense, right? But when it comes to 380 versus nine, uh, I'm probably going to side with nine millimeter every time, personally. I mean, me too. Like, if you think about it, it is basically the diameter. Everything is very similar to a nine millimeter. It is just underpowered, yeah. and perhaps for those folks who want less recoil, yeah, it'll be uh, more manageable for you, ballistic profile-wise. Um, uh, I don't know much about the 380s ballistic profile, but I know a lot about 9mm. I can guarantee 9mm obviously was going to su surpass the 380 on everything except the feeling like a soft recoil. Yeah, cool. uh, well look at it this way, right? 380, yeah. this 95 grain projectile that it is, is coming in right around 900 to 1000 feet per second, mm -hmm. right? Uh, the 115 grain uh, 9mm is coming in around, you know, 1100 to 1200 yeah. feet per second. And I mean, when you think about the 380 cartridge, I, I was just looking down range. I don't even think it would go through like one of the two by fours. You know what I mean? What? Are yeah. you serious? Yeah. It's not 22, it's 380. I, I mean, like, so here's, you know, uh, he, he's check it out, right? Like, this is just a kind of a fresh piece of two by four, except it's like, it's pretty fresh. Yeah, it's got yeah, plenty it's, of it's not wet or anything like that. It's nice and dry. Okay, cool. But 
like going this way, you know, long ways, no. Okay. The short way here, the width, yeah, I think, I don't think, I don't think, actually, I don't think it'll go through either way. Right. 95 grain projectile yeah. right here. Yeah. That's traveling about what? 1,000 feet per second on average? 900? I mean, 000? out of this short of a barrel, probably less, but yeah. Okay, let's just say 900. 95 grain. Yeah. A lot of mass. This thing, it'll go right through it, man. If there was two of them, I, it would lodge into the second one, in my opinion. Uh, but it's definitely gonna go through this one, you in my so? opinion. Really, you think so? 380. Nine millimeter will probably go through both. Through both? I don't think it'll go through both. Yeah. Let, let's try it. Why don't we just try it? Yeah, this one's a 380. You just shoot it right here? Yeah, that's whatever. It's going into the dirt. Everybody got their eyes and ears on it. Yeah, right? we're good to go. But you gotta go straight. Look, I'm going straight. Ready? Go look at that. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me try the nine millimeter. No, no, move, 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 dude. Uh, hold on. I'm Keep gonna do here. something. There we go. Good to go? All right, so. Uh, so I'm gonna put nine millimeter on two of them. I don't think nine millimeter will go through two of them, but try it. I was right on the first one. So we'll go right here. Right here. Let's clear this up. I really hope it didn't go through both. Firearm is clear. And you ready, Ryan? Huh, how about that? Wait. Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> ha. I told you. Yeah. Both of them. Guys, you know what? These, these are not like 22s. See, you know, I think, power behind them. I think I've shot too much body armor and I've yeah. gotten like, I kind of like lost a lot of faith in <laughs> what uh, bullets are capable of, I guess. Oh, but I mean, good. and you know what? I'll tell you this, guys. Look at that perfect entry, though. It and is. then look at that. You would think the exit would be a little bit more brutal. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. On the nine mil. And this is just a two by four. Just a right? hang on round. So it kind of makes you wonder too, like. Uh, you don't want to take cover behind two by fours, even two of them. Don't. You know, this hey, not scientific. I got, I got like those 147 grain hollow points in there. All right, so 147 grain hollow point. It won't expand. They, they shouldn't theoretically expand. Because it's hard so. surface, yeah. Let, let's try it. Yeah, I mean, we can't find, the, we probably won't be able to find the projectile, but they, uh, they, they're probably gonna stay solid. All right, same type of setup here. I'm just gonna aim here. Okay. You got, you got ammo? Yeah, yeah, I just got the one round of the hollow point. I just wanna see what the hollow point's gonna all do, right. all right? So about right here. Yep. Yeah. So they went through. It went all the way through? Yeah, yeah, both of them. And I'll tell you, a hollow point will act like almost like full metal jacket. It will not expand, man. It, it, it shouldn't. What? It's supposed to expand on flesh. Huh. Of, you got your knife? I'm not digging my knife through that, no. But, yeah. Well, here's a little more faith in uh, nine millimeter, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, I'm okay, so what about 380 then? I mean, because 380 obviously isn't as anemic as I yeah. thought it was, but it, as far as nine mil versus 380, obviously you're gonna get better, what? I got three. Three, three, uh, what, two, two by, by fours? fours. Wait, uh, have another two by fours? Hold on. All right, so here's here's my take, right? Obviously, nine millimeter is, do you have the nine mil, Meg? I do, right here. Nine millimeter is, Superior when it comes to ballistics, they over 380, right? But as we're learning right now, 380 isn't something to kind of like scoff at. I mean, it's still gonna do yeah. what you need it to, even though it is just a little tiny guy. Uh, but again, there is no comparison to my mind though. In my mind, nine mil, 380, nine mil is gonna win every single time. Absolutely, it's, yeah. uh, it's a heavier project, faster, and uh, more technology is, uh, more uh, research is invested in uh, nine millimeter nowadays than 380, in my opinion. I mean, yeah. it's got to be a fact, right? Because nine millimeters now. We, we were talking about the why did police uh, ditch 40 caliber, right? right? And went back to a nine millimeter. So it's it's a very it's, powerful round. All right. So you think it's going to go through all three two by fours? I think, I think a nine should go through all three of them. Yeah. Let, let's try. There's three of them down there. I mean, now I'm just curious myself. I mean, let's. All right, eyes and ears, everybody's good to go. Yeah. And by the way, this is a controlled environment, guys. So super controlled. Don't try this at home. Let me clear the gun first. All right. Firearm is clear. Yep. All right, so 
First one, nine millimeter, good to go. That's number two, out. Oh yeah, there you go. It's out on the third one. And this one's kind of like, yeah, it's definitely it's a weaker, logs, it's a yeah. weaker uh, yeah. wood, but it's still pretty dry. Huh. This is gonna keep on going. I feel like we need to invest in more two by four. Let's dude. Let's try 380 on it. I mean, yeah. Let's do 380. Yeah, put bigger. So we know we're not going we're not gonna shoot there. So, so we need to shoot. How about like not, right, not, not yeah. there? I mean, you can try right here too. Yep, right there. And just wanna, we just don't want to stack them on top of each other. All right, you know what? 380. I think we need to make this like our unofficial classic firearms test for penetration. That's right. You ready for just this? Just a bunch of two by fours. Go oh, for wait. it. Is that the 380? This one? is the nine millimeter. I mean, it'd still shoot it, but I know. <laughs> but I want to actually shoot the proper. All right. How many live rounds are you gonna leave in the grass over here? You said right here, right? Oh yeah, right, right there. Yeah, go for it. All right. So that was just so much softer. Yeah, the so I think is the third one. Shooting. It could have probably got stuck on the third one. Okay. All right. Firearms clear. Yeah, it barely got out of the first one. It feels, yeah. it looks like it. Yeah. Got it the second one. So it's in the second one. Yep, it's sitting right, right there. Right there. How cool is that? Let's show these guys. Yeah. It's just protruding here. So it made it through two. I can actually two. see the, all right, so I'll take my pocket after that one. But if I was just digging through the dirt, yeah. you know what I mean? So you guys can, I can already see a little bit of the copper jacket right in here. But let's just see if I can, boop, boop. Yep, there it is. There's the complete projectile. Let yep. me just do this really quick. Perform some uh, field surgery here, rain surgery. Look at that. Yep, that's <laughs> just so sitting there. Cool. How freaking cool is that? Let's see if I can Didn't get that out. Deform, huh? Nope. Let's reload that. That is a <laughs> perfect little projectile. Isn't that yeah. cute? Yeah. I mean, you could just see like how small it is. Yeah. Compared to a nine millimeter. Yeah. If we had a nine right here, almost double the size. Almost. Yeah. So I mean, like that. So. That's pretty interesting. I mean, it goes to show that 380 is still pretty effective. I mean, granted, this is two by four, yeah. you know, like that's whatever. But if you're trying to think of something for home defense, you know what's a lot thinner than two by four is sheetrock. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, granted, I'd still want something with a little bit more punch behind it personally. I just want that 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 effectiveness on, you know, that, that, mm -hmm. that energy transfer. Absolutely. Which if you have a heavier projectile versus, again, 115 is heavier than 95 grain, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you've got a little bit more velocity behind the nine mil over the 380. So yep. you're still gonna have that, that, that hit, right? Oh, it's gonna be a bigger, it's gonna be a heavier Expansion. punch. Yeah, if yeah. you think about the muzzle energy, obviously nine millimeter is going to surpass 380 all day long. Right, yeah. So, but at the end of the day though, I mean, if you put it this way, here's something that's true to both of these. It doesn't matter which one of these you're carrying, it's still better than not carrying. So make sure you go out there, get trained, practiced with whatever it is that you're gonna be carrying. And as long as you're effective with it, shot placement's probably more important than the actual cartridge you're shooting, right? Yep. You can hit them in the, in the hand all day with the 45, but you know, one to the heart with a 380 might be a little bit more, you know. Oh, absolutely. If you also hit the T-Box, right? T-Box, you know, you're going to yeah. shut the lights off with, even with the 22. So that'd yeah. be T-Box right here. If you hit the neck, the spine, yeah. you know, you're going to incapacitate. Yeah, you're looking out, you're looking for that lights out switch. Exactly. Right. And you know what? I don't know if you noticed it, like 380 shot much softer for me. Yeah. Oh, yes. Like, just much softer. So those people who are out there, they're li even with the uh, new technology, they're having a hard time with the nine millimeters recoil for whatever reason. Uh, you know, 380 is a great option for them. You know, yeah. it's manageable and it still it still delivers uh, punch. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. let us know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. Uh, were you kind of surprised? I honestly didn't think 380 was going to go through a two by four. I really didn't think. You know, like I just yeah. You know, I've always kind of looked at it as uh, anemic, nah, not that impressive. And then, like I said, I've shot more body armor than anything else, <laughs> which has made me really have a lot of doubt about different projectiles because I'm like, man, you know. <laughs> I have to say this, like uh, back when I was a crime scene investigator, I i mean, I had a leg up on this one. I've actually investigated yeah. a lot of shooting crimes in Chicago area. A lot so of you had a lot to go off of. So I had actually 380, like oh, I knew, I knew what these, uh, I actually know what bullets are capable of, right? Not just a body armor on flesh, yeah. 
and on everyday things. I've seen so many shot up cars. I've seen so yeah. many shot up homes. I've seen a lot of stuff in Chicago. I mean, come on. I, be, I was at the morgue every single morning. And uh, so I have seen some 380s on the, on the yeah, streets. Corpses too, so. and coffee. Yeah. That's uh, Kaya's future coffee shop. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. anyway, well, yeah, it's all very good input and also very interesting. So again, let us know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Has this kind of like, um, I guess, you know, reestablished your faith in 380 or are you still going to be that nine millimeter guy or are you that weirdo that's carrying 40? Let us know down in the comments and don't forget to head on over to classicfarms.com to check out our latest giveaway because who doesn't like free guns, first of all. Utilize the code word you see at the bottom of the screen to get yourself a couple hundred extra entries. And as always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless. And we'll see you next time at classicfarms.com. Don't forget to stay strapped.